constant spinning column of air that's formed when hot air rises and gets hit on the sides by a front of cold air. That causes the molecules to spin with speeds up to 300 miles an hour. much as you might want to, you can't make a real tornado at home, but you can make a model that will show us that spinning column of air. And we've got some materials here that are pretty easy to find. Look at this, it's a cardboard box. Now we painted it black so that we really can see the formation inside. We've also put in some windows here using plexiglass, see it inside? The other thing that you need to notice is that there's some little channels on the side here. See where we kind of cut this out of the cardboard? It's always on the right hand side right here. On the back here, this is a solid panel. See the channel? That's going to allow air to be able to pull in this way. And the same thing on this side as well. Now we're going to need a little hole in the top because in the top we'll go a portable fan. So this is just a battery powered fan and we're gonna push the air out the top so it's actually pulling from inside and pushing the air out like that. All right, so this is gonna go right up here. All right, some warm water goes in the bowl. And now let's put some dry ice in here to form our cloud. Let's just see what happens when we put this in. So the bowl of dry ice is here like this. Let's seal it up and now let's start the fan spinning. So what we're trying to do is to get that rotation to form inside. You can see how it starts to spin. So this column of air starts to work its way up. Oh, this is beautiful, look at this. tornado. It's not real. I'm going to show you how to make a giant tornado in your home. Why? Because anything that's worth doing is worth overdoing. Coming up next on DIY Side. Don't put me in there. I'm doing it. No!